Hello everyone, iOS 26.1 has just officially been released. So let's go and take a look at it on an iPhone 15 I have here. And funny enough, after installing it, I do actually have a black wallpaper now. Now this is the RC version, so maybe it changed a little bit. So I don't know what that's about. But for iOS 26.1, for the most part, this was a long time coming. I'm very surprised it took them this long to go through and drop this update. I don't even think I screenshotted it before I actually, actually like showed it. So that is kind of surprising, but for the most part within iOS 26.1, this is going to be a very big update. Now, number one, it gives us this new feature inside of iOS 26.1 that basically allows us to change the liquid glass option. So I believe it's under display. So if we go under the display and brightness toggle, we do have this liquid glass option right here. If we tap on it, it will allow us to go change it from clear to tinted. So we can change it from being you know liquid glass, which is clear, down to tinted. So now you can go and change that out and that in and of itself is a really cool thing. So I will tell you if you're going to go through and use an iPhone that right there is actually a really really awesome thing. Now we also have the option of kind of swiping left or right on the Apple Music Player. So you do have the option of kind of swiping left and right. It actually has that cool like tinted look too. You also have the option to go through and have auto mix available over AirPlay. You can go through and turn off the swiping left on the lock screen option. So when you swipe left on the lock screen, it shows you the camera. You can now go through and toggle that off, which is actually really awesome. So I believe that's under the lock screen option. So if you swipe into here, I'll have a video on the second channel on how to do it, but I'm sure I'll be able to find a way to go into it. But that feature is now available. So whenever I figure it out, that video will be on the second channel. But that is another really cool thing. So overall, this is a pretty big update. There were a lot of cool things added. I will also say a slide to stop alarm option also came up. So now you have the option of kind of sliding to stop your alarm once the alarm comes off. So that right there, I think is another really cool thing too. So it's really awesome. I think it's a really cool update and I would highly recommend installing it if you're on iOS 26 or if you're on iOS 18, I'd probably recommend staying there for like just a little bit longer. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.